Today I'm meeting with Paige from Google Search to talk about the coolness that is now on tap. So Paige, you're a product manager for Google Now on Tap, right? Right. So, so tell me all about Google Now on Tap. What is it? It's a new feature for Android Marshmallow, and it helps bring me related information and actions. Whatever I'm doing on my phone, I can just use Now on Tap to get information and Ooh, actions. you going to show me? So here is a chat with my friend Brian. So you know, he says, hey, thanks for picking me up at the airport, gives me his flight number, mm -hmm. and then I'm asking him about, about dinner. So what I would typically do in this situation is copy and paste some of these things. Yeah. You know, you'd look up the flight it's number. It's awkward to copy with your fingers right. and yeah. And you might check out a couple of different apps to see about the restaurant he suggested. So with Now on Tap, it makes all of that super easy. You tap and hold on the home button right okay. there. Okay. And then you get all of this information and actions related oh, nice. to what you were doing. So here's the restaurant that he suggested, Here's the Is flight. flight. Oh, and he's delayed. I can see it's delayed, right? So that's useful. I can create a calendar event for this dinner that we're having. And it actually used natural language to predict this uh, calendar event, which I think is pretty cool because we had mentioned dinner tonight um, and the place all in different parts of the conversation and it combined all of those oh, yeah. into one, one action. And so it's trying to predict what I want to do and also what information I need. Okay. Cool. And now is there some, beyond just the information in a chat like this, can it also, like when you're in a particular location, it can predict the kind of things that you do based on time. Is that right? So that's more of like a Google Now use case. So okay. Now and Tap is actually building on top of what Google Now has already done. So okay. Google Now predicts what's going on in the real world and what information you need that's okay. happening around you. Now and Tap is about what's happening on your phone. Um, ah, and okay, so that's cool. actually, when we were thinking about this, this was one of these crazy ideas we had, like what if you could get Now cards for what's on your screen at any moment, any okay. screen that you're on. When you were working on this kind of thing, like what, it must have been really challenging and exciting to like think about the context of what people do on their phones. And how was that? Yeah, I mean, it was a completely new idea. It was something that's never really been done before. Um, and so, yeah, we looked at a ton of screens, you know, like we were all <laughs> donating our screens um, as data. And uh, we had people going through their top apps and making sure now on tap worked well. Um, and yeah, it was a really, a totally new project that started out as just a small team doing some prototypes and then grew into this um, product that we launched in less than a year. Right, and it's in Android Marshmallow, right? right? So cool. So if I'm an app developer and I want to take advantage of something like this, what do I need to do? So the great thing about Now on Tap is that developers don't really have to do anything. Um, and so it just works automatically on most apps. Okay. There are a couple of things that we really recommend you do. So one of those is getting your app into app indexing. Basically, if you have information that uh, should appear in search, so for example, um, you have Yelp with a bunch of Yelp reviews or IMDb uh, with a bunch of pages about actors. We actually show those apps in search um, if you've gone through and participated mm -hmm. in app indexing. Mm -hmm. And that's where we know exactly where to go within Now and Tap. So if you notice, we have all those app icons on the cards and then when you click on those, it goes to exactly the right place. Okay. And wow. the way that we do that is we actually know from search uh, wh where to point to. One of the other issues that we have is when people do crazy things with views um, and so I mean that's that's a little more rare but as long as your app is basically working well with accessibility APIs and such like that it should it should work well with now on tap what kind of stuff did you guys encounter while trying to build something into Android one of the things that was really exciting for me was seeing how the API got designed so now on tap is actually built on top of an open API so it's an API that anyone could build an assistant that takes advantage of um, this this information about the views underlying on the screen and also this layer that comes up on top of the page okay um, and so that was really cool to actually design that, that API and work with the Android team. Yes. Um, and then we also had some pretty funny challenges. You know, it was actually pretty hard to tell from context what you should be showing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it sounds hard, right? Sure. <laughs> and it was hard. Um, I'm sure some things went wrong along the lines. So yeah, uh, yeah. We had funny, you know how there's a band called Yes? Like yes. we would trigger for things like that. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of... A little bit dumb at the beginning, but and we started seeing these these things and then and then fixing them. What is sort of tuning to the context around the words. Um, so so what if I was like in a messenger chat with a friend and the word yes was in there and I did yeah now you might tap, get a card from the band. Then I hear all about John Anderson. <laughs> oh that right. oh I love it. Yeah. <laughs> but that I'm sure lots of other things could go interestingly wrong with that. So. Yeah yeah one of the things that we have actually struggled with is um, making sure to always find something useful on every screen. Um, because if you can imagine, there's just not entities you know, perfectly spelled out on every screen. So one thing that we introduced that I think is really cool is basically ways to find like trending searches on your screen. Um, uh -huh. We actually know a lot of people are searching for right now. And so okay. we can actually incorporate that into Now on Tap. 
That's pretty cool. And I mean, obviously, we're just talking about English right now, so it, it's also available in other languages. Yeah, at this point, we're launched in, I think, eight or more languages. Nice. Um, and it was a challenge. You know, you can imagine this all relies on natural language processing, and so you really have to know all the nuances and the quirks of the different languages yes. in order to not make those types of yes examples, right? Yes. Uh, the, those bad <laughs> <laughs> over triggering is what we call it. And so, um, over triggering. I yeah. have to remember that one. <laughs> Whenever I try to speak French and insult somebody, I'll just say, I'm over triggering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. so luckily we you know, we had a team in Japan dedicated to this. We also had uh, a lot of engineers in Europe as that's where the core and Allen Tab team is based. And so they all speak like seven languages. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, they nice. were able to help out. And it, and it works just as well. So You know, Allen Tab is actually really useful. Some engineers in Japan have been telling me it's really useful for them because it's like hard to type out all the characters. Copy and paste is even more useful in Japanese. That's it's true, basically. yeah. Um, and so now on tap is incredibly helpful. Oh, nice. <laughs> so back to developers, you did mention app indexing, and app indexing is part of it. But I hear you got some great resources for developers for everything that they need to get into now on tap. Yeah, if you're really interested in making your app work perfectly with now on tap and learning about these assistant APIs, mm -hmm. I suggest taking a look at our developer docs on this. So we have a great article that's all about the assist APIs. One article is all they need. Yeah, it's really pretty simple. Nice. Well, thank you, Paige, and thanks for coming today. Thank you so much. This is great. If you've got any questions for me or if you've any questions for Paige, just please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google Developers channel on YouTube. Thank you.